first heard about Sinai, honestly, it was just name recognition. There was some bell in my head that was like, oh yeah, that sounds like it was a good program. I know of, of people that have applied there, people that have told me they've done rotations and they liked it there. The more and more I looked it up, I thought, hey, that's a place I'd like to apply. Day of interview, um, I remember all of my previous interviews, I was taking these diligent notes, I can be indecisive, and I, you know, number number of cases and number of work hours. And here, when I looked back from my notes from Sinai, and these big smiley faces, and that was the thing that really stuck with me from Sinai. So it was that feeling that this was a place that I could work 80 hours a week and I could love the people that I worked with. So my interview at Sinai was pretty unique compared to all my other interviews. My faculty uh, during my interview gave me a lot of floor space to talk about myself and speak about my values and my interests and got to know me as a person, going beyond just the research interests and my academics thus far. I was very impressed and happy to find that uh, everybody was just as down to earth as they were when I had been with them a month prior. I really valued that. Uh, there was no fronting, there was no hidden agenda. It was very much, this is who we are, and this is who we always will be. We actually have all of our attending cell phone numbers and we can text them or call them with any questions we ever have. If it's a patient uh, that's not directly a patient of theirs, you can even just shoot them a quick text and say, hey, what do you think about this? And that's not the idea that I had of the relationship that I would have with attendings as a resident before residency. And so that was a pleasant surprise for me. The faculty was a big reason that I decided to come to Sinai. They're very supportive and like to get to know me in, on a personal level. I've had multiple phone calls before moving to Baltimore about my move, if I needed any help with finding a dentist, finding an apartment, finding a car. Even while I'm here, they're still equally invested. They're showing up to my didactics every morning at 6.30 a.m. They care, they don't want to just undermine you as far as like your knowledge base goes, they do really want you to grow in your career. They want you to, you know, they want you to thrive. When talking about resident uh, education, there's a couple different schools of thought. I rather liked um, getting the polished answer, the direct one-on-one -on -one attention with attendings and uh, just the opportunity to take care of patients with only an attending supervising. I just felt that my learning was maximized. Part of my mind thought, oh yeah, going to a program with fellows, that sounds prestigious. You know, everyone says fellowships are this amazing thing, which they are. But I was surprised coming here seeing, oh, if there's not fellows, that means that we get to be the ones that do everything. It's you and that attending, rather than having someone in between you, um, the one really doing the case, it's us doing the cases. By not having fellows, you do have the ability to do a lot of the things that the fellow would otherwise be doing. For me, the biggest part of that was procedures. I really am a hands-on person and I really do enjoy procedures. I don't think I would be as happy as I am if I didn't really get that experience uh, so early on. Day one, I actually was in a surgery on my very, very first day here and I was the surgeon on the case. We do have the oversight from the attendings. There's always someone there to help you. There's always someone to ask questions from and it's just you working with that attending. So you get that one-on-one -on -one education and that one-on-one -on -one experience from someone that absolutely knows what they're doing and is willing to let you do all of it. At Sinai, you will have the opportunity to have your own clinic. When I walk in the door every day, my name is on the door, it's my clinic. Um, they're my patients that are coming to see me. I think that's awesome and unique and I think it just sets you up for the rest of your life. Being able to have that autonomy and have that experience early on is great for just confidence and making you a better doctor long term. I loved the diversity of what it seemed like people saw here as a program. And that diversity was something I was looking for in, the, in a program so that I could get this broad experience where I dealt with a number of different types of people. Being located somewhat between a, a lower income community and then also a higher income community, you see both sides of that. And then also with Sinai's Jewish affiliation, you do uh, get to interact with patients from the Jewish community. Uh, which has been really beneficial in understanding how patient values impact the patient-physician relationship and then also just impact care in general. I think that interaction with that community has, has kind of spilled over to, um, you know, support me and my interaction with patients of all communities. You also have patients coming from all over the world. Um, it's not uncommon for me to work with patients who are from Ohio or from Pakistan in a single day. 
That's really important to me, and it's something that I really took a close look at while evaluating programs. And that's because I feel like if you're able to connect with more people from more diverse backgrounds, it'll make you a better position in the future. It keeps you on your toes. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, you have to be ready at any time, at any moment, to, to take care of a patient from any walk of life. I've had a lot of fun here, and I've, I've loved not just the work experiences I get, but the fun that I get to have in Baltimore, at Sinai, with the residents, doing our outside work events. I truly do love it here. Monthly, we do have uh, dinners with attendings, um, which is rather nice just to see them in more of a, a non-professional environment and just get to know them a little bit better. It, it just helps with seeing them as a real human, because they are. I think our attendings want you to know that and be good examples for you know how to live both lives, um, professionally and then at home. Sinai definitely does promote a work-life balance. On the hospital level, you definitely see that they have days where they're celebrating the nurses or they're celebrating the doctors or just staff in general. They'll have barbecues outside. They'll give away popcorn on random days. So those are really fun things that just kind of boost morale. But it's great to see that they have devoted committees and devoted individuals that you know want to make sure that your, your wellness is not swept under the rug. So once a month with our program, we have wellness sessions with one of our attendings. Um, and it's all about getting into a room, closing the doors, taking off your pager, turning it all off, decompressing as a group, um, and working on coping strategies. So we do exercises, we do meditation, we do journaling activities to help us cope better with the long work hours and the stress that's going to come with any residency program. Choosing to study in Baltimore means that you are close to some of the highest institutions, some of the brightest minds, and so some of the conferences that we go to, the, the world <laughs> voice on a topic is probably within two hours of here. And so we might be hearing directly from the source of you know, the, the newest cutting edge knowledge, and that's uh, obviously a huge bonus. That being said, we do have the opportunity as well to get great knowledge from our home institution. Um, our attendings are from some of the best in the country as well, so we have a nice little pocket of knowledge at home as well. Coming to Baltimore, I had heard all of the bad stereotypes. You know, I'd, I'd seen the shows, I'd heard the rumors, um, and I was pleasantly surprised. I was amazed coming here to find, one, how much of a food city this is. So it was cool to see all the little neighborhoods with the cool little restaurants and all these little pockets of culture. And then outside of that, just all the art and cultural events and festivals and amazing things there are to do in this city was extremely surprising in a pleasant way to me just to see that there's so much rich culture here in Baltimore. You can really see the charm in Baltimore. Um, and I think that there's always something new to discover in Baltimore. There are beautiful parks um, with it being on the water. I love being by water. So the harbor is an amazing place to be. The aquarium is beautiful. So there are tons of different things to do. And I think that it, it does cater to all different kinds of interests. I really enjoy that about Baltimore. <laughs> I have such a long list of why I love Sinai. Uh, I would say the small faculty, all the investment I have, all the resources that are sort of allocated at me, uh, not having any other uh, fellows to compete with, and just the personal interactions. It feels like a family as opposed to a hospital that I'm working in. Day one coming into residency, terrified. Honestly didn't know what to expect. Everyone tells you that residency is gonna be this big, scary, hard, you know, sometimes even people say horrible experience, and I have, absolutely loved working at Sinai and it's completely exceeded my expectations. I'm happy to be here. I love coming to work every day. I love the people I work with and I love the patients that I get to take care of. And I think that this was absolutely the best choice for me um, and I'm excited to see where my experience at Sinai leads me.